I like it. It's not well, I deep. always pair low key with the eyes emoji, like the. <laughs> it's like low key. That might be the one. Or, uh, <laughs> low key, I might get a sandwich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 22. It's a more mature podcast. Episode 21. He was a little frisky, turning 21, not 22. We're here mature. Ep- episode 21. We're all dressed up mature, today. Though. We are dressed up. Yeah, this is a grown up episode right here. Not really. Last episode, but last episode was mature with this our is, topics. We're going back to our but, roots. Just very oh, yeah. dumb, stupid. We're just, we're just showing up a little cleaned up today we to got do the, so. We got the quarter zips. <laughs> yep, I just got this at Boscos. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's, that's nice. where you got that. Shout uh, out. I got this at Ross. Oh, yeah. Good old Ross. Shout out to Ross. I have some dress shirts over there from Ross. Bang. Hope, we're just you shouting out. watching on YouTube so you can actually see what we're wearing. <laughs> yeah. YouTube or Spotify. Did you oh, even yeah, know? They, they can watch on Spotify. Yeah. I do all the editing except for the thumbnail. So he, he, I don't even, he probably yeah. didn't know that. I, 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 that's neat. Yeah. You can. Yeah. So shout out. Let us know what you're watching on. Anyways, got a good episode here. Going to start off with some good old questions. Now, I got to give credit where credit's due. Last episode, I listened to a podcast where I got from information. This is from an Instagram page. I don't follow them, but I like them just because you don't expect what their content is. Yeah. So their Instagram is rap. So it's literally rap. I, I, know, I they, know of them. They yeah. coined the name rap. So you're like, oh, yeah, you get to learn about rap, which you do. But they're also a news page. Which is kind of, it's very interesting. They post news, and it's a good page. And I was just scrolling through. They post news. They also just post, sometimes it's just a question. And this question was, and it does actually apply to music or rap. Okay. And it's, how many songs do you listen to per day on average? If you had to guess. I think you can probably go into Spotify <sighs> and calculate it. Now, That's... I'll say this. it You can't count... Like, if you're at Panera and music's playing, that yeah. doesn't count. It's got to be music you put on or someone else in your immediate group. I, I honestly on. think it's higher than. You I think, think the it. real answer is higher than what I'm going to say. I'll say like 30. 30? 30 to 40. On average. That's. Yeah. We'll do the math time wise. That's like two hours of your day. Well, you're, you're driving to and from work, though. That's got to be I a I drive big part to work and then uh, I don't listen to music when I work out, but. Sometimes at home I'll do like a little like ab circuit workout thingy and I listen to music then. So that's 10 minutes, maybe like two songs. But it's it's it the does. commute to work. That's where the money's being made. It adds up fast because I'll, like I'll put, let's say I'm with some people and I put music on. I'll queue up like eight songs or maybe even 20 songs. I'm like, oh, this will last me. Yeah. And before you know it, you're down to your last song. You're like, oh, I got to queue more up. Well, so, they go by quick. So in your life, how, how many songs do you listen to on average? <sighs> My first thought was 18. But looking back, that is not enough. Yeah. Because there, there might be some days I don't listen to any songs. But then there's some where... <sighs> yeah, it it ranges. It's tough because it could also it can get to the point where it's just background noise and you're not listening to it. It's just on and it's it's on and you are hearing it, but you're not listening to it. So you got to break down the words. How how many songs are you listening well, I, to? Sometimes we'll play music at work and we'll work with music in the background. That doesn't count. Who's putting on the music? We we are in charge of the music. <sighs> that's a good that's a good little factor. I think if we're in charge, it counts. Yes, if sometimes we talk about the music as we're okay. working. Okay, I'll let it count then. But if it's at the point where the music is fully drained out, but then how do you determine that in this question? You can't. So, if the person, if you know the person who's in charge I, of the music, I, and you, I have, am, I if I play music at work, I am playing music. If okay. I go into Panera it Bread, I am enough. not playing yes, the music. Exactly, Panera Bread. If you're in there in the cafe, that's not listening to music. That's just you might be like, ah, oh, it's a good song, but you're not listening to it. You're Eating food, you know, talking. Song, come, come on, Eileen. Come yeah. on. Panera Bread <laughs> we lo- loves about playing that, that song. <laughs> and I don't know if they still play Panini by Lil Nas, <laughs> but they they would always play that song. Was it that song? I have no clue. What, what, Are you thinking what, like what the song popular even is one? Panini. I don't know. I don't hey, listen Panini. to him. Panini. Oh, uh, uh, there, it was some Lil Nas X that, song. The popular one you're talking about? I don't know, but it, it was like 2020 or whatever, and they. Panera played this song all the time. Yeah, I know you're talking about It's crazy. But anyways, uh, probably. All right, let's break it really quick. I don't want to go too long in this question, but I'm listening to the most music. 
probably, probably, I don't know. Actually, no. When I'm in school, normally when I walk to class, I'll have headphones on, listen to music. When I'm at the gym, I'm listening to music. Give me like, let's say a song's three minutes long. I'm listening to music for, let's say, two hours a day on average. It's 120 divided by three. That's 40. 40, yeah. 40 songs, I'll say. Wow. That's, yeah, on average. That's a crazy It's tough because there's some days you don't listen to any music, but there could be a day where you listen to music for seven hours. Yeah. Like, if you're if you're really working hard studying, you got and music so, on. Some days when I drive to work, I'll put a podcast on, and that eats up my entire time. Yeah. But. Well, shout out to Rap for that question. I'm sure someone else has also come up with that question. You, that's not, are the Beatles, that's where I got Are the it. Beatles still your main chunk of music? Or I know you, uh, you like it's to listen been, to some Drake as you work out. Or whatever. Drake's kind of fallen off as of recent. I still like I like Drake. I like the Beatles. Recently, I'm what they call a on Spotify. They call it a time traveler. That means I keep coming back to the same songs over and over. Huh. So I'll listen to like a very small batch of songs for a lot. Yeah. Not like in the same day. I, well, so so I I do a thing called song of the day on Instagram. Yeah. And if a song of the day is really hitting, it might get played eight times that day. And that'll last for, like, a few days, and then... So it's kind of like... I listen to the top of my playlist. Like, whatever the most recent, like, songs are. I'll look at, like, the first 20, 30 songs. Pick five of them <laughs> if I'm in the shower or something. I've had songs. I have I I do have songs like that right now, yeah. So that's kind of what I do. But with Song of the Day too, it forces me to look deeper into my playlist. And then, like, there is a song by Oasis that... It was on my playlist. It was a good song. Wonderwall. No, it was uh, "Don't Look Back in Anger." It's like their second popular, song. a really good I song. I, can you, it was can on you my give me a sample? No, I'm not doing. <laughs> you can listen to it on your own time. Okay, but it was on my playlist, and I knew it was a good song. But then I was looking through my playlist, like, what should I use? That one came up. I'm like, dang, this is a much better song than I remember. So that is a great feeling, yeah. So th- I've been listening to that recently, but it's all over the place. Kind of what's whatever's hot, whatever I'm time traveling back over to. I don't know. Hot, but not like modern. I don't listen to a lot of modern music. I I do a little bit, but recently my song of the days are very rock, yeah. very eight uh, sixty seventies eighties nineties rock. I, I, jump, rock. I, I jump back in the two thousands, but yeah, I'm all over the place. So that's very where I am nice. with music. Now another talking point. This will bleed into our ego meter as well, in a way. Um, yes, we have the ego meter back since our first episode of season two. We are doing the ego meter. So it's back. You guys have been demanding it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting emails left and right. I can't even, uh, I can't get sleep anymore because everyone keeps asking me to bring the ego meter back. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, back. this doesn't even fully relate, but it's about language. And the, what I have here is, and you might not even realize this. Maybe it doesn't apply to you. It does to me, but that is stealing other accents unknowingly so for example not necessarily like a british accent or an australian accent but the accent in like an individual how they talk how they use words uh phrases they might say for example i i take some phrases from you sometimes just going like (laughs) no or like dumb stuff like i uh i created that (laughs) just like ah (laughs) it's just like this dumb really stupid ways i don't i don't know where i got that from (laughs) And just like sometimes the way people just talk. Yeah. There, I remember there's this one dude in a like, in my seventh grade math class. We sat next to each other. His name, I, actually, I'm not gonna say his name. You probably, you might not even know him, but he just had a way of talking. And before I knew it, I started like to kind of sound like him. Yeah. Just because I like the way he You'll talks. You have to tell me who that is after seventh grade. So, yeah. Okay. I I just I don't like saying people's yeah, names yeah, on yeah. here, but yeah. it's I don't know if you've ever realized it, but the way you talk is just combined of everyone around you which is makes sense on like when you think of accents of like a british accent you grow up in a british family then well, you I have can the accent you definitely but sound like your dad at times yes I've that's another one that. sometimes i and i hate that because it's I, like uh, <laughs> you guys it's terrible i hate how my dad you're very sounds. happy but sometimes you can be very pessimistic like not <laughs> pessimistic but if i'm like enjoying this like thing a lot <laughs> You and your dad would be like, eh, it's all right. <laughs> it's it's nothing to write home about. Yeah, and that's mainly I, I uh, looking at reflecting on myself from that. I, it's more me joking than actually yeah. being pissed. I I know that. Yeah, because <laughs> my dad would be very but pissed at something. I, uh, like that. Or just he, yeah, he doesn't enjoy the moment I as don't, much. I don't really know if I talk like my dad. 
I mean, you guys, my dad was on the podcast. He, that is not how my dad talks, by the way. <laughs> that was like, he was like some English professor. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, uh, but, uh, that was funny. When we, for he, us, it was funny. He's known for talking with his eyes closed. Like, he used to give, like, uh, Pre game talks to the <laughs> Little League team. <laughs> the dude's eyes would be closed. <laughs> He's like, okay, guys, we're going to go out there. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <sighs> I don't really know who I embody my voice after. I don't know. Yeah, mine, I guess. I mean, this is my voice here. I don't know who this would come from, but there's times where I'll, like, my mind's that's, in a place your, that comes that's from. That's you being you, Garrett, right there. Like, when I'm negative, I talk like my dad because I get negativity from my dad sometimes not yeah. like not all the time but like the way i complain he's a complainer that's just who he is and sometimes when i complain i'm like ah. no uh, I, I i don't i can't really relate to anyone i talk like i guess but it was just a random thought i had literally right before the podcast i'm like i was gonna ask him and i'm like i'll save this. yeah because it's kind of unique how you take in accents what you take from other people what you give them i think of that ebfl blooper where it, i go <laughs> hello i can't catch today <laughs> It's like, where did I get that I think from? of, I was thinking of, uh, <laughs> I just think of uh, throws it up to Sean. Oh. <laughs> you it up guys want to Sean know what we're talking drops. about. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, just the way people talk is very interesting. Oh, oh Jared. And <laughs> oh, Jared. I'm not going to say the rest. <laughs> but that kind of ti- kind of ties into our ego meter, which is modern slang. The way we, uh, our generation talks, the terms we use, not necessarily uh, how we say them, you know, like, for example, the first one here is bet. So the, our point before is more the accent, how we, we'd say bet. This is bet. more focusing on how we are ego meter ing. I don't know the, the how to to- coin that. How would we rate it? Yeah, but it needs to be an ego meter sense. Oh, okay. Where does it fall in the meter of the ego Yeah. for the bet? So in terms of bet, where do you see the slang? Is that mm-hmm. one you use? Is that one you like? Where is Ethan Golas? That is simple. And put it on a it's meter. essentially just okay. Is it not? Uh, yo, go go do that for me. All right, bet. Ooh, I, are we including the it with it? Okay, bet yeah, by. I mean, it's, it's up to you. I right, bet. <laughs> uh, bet by itself is just. Eh, I don't think it can carry it. Well, it can be tied in with other things. What do you mean, like placing could, a bet? No, like you can say I bet. I bet. You can't say I bet without bet. I feel like it's it's a word. I don't you think it has much it comedic value. It's literally just like another word for okay or I will do that. Uh I don't I don't know how often I say it, so I'll just give it the 7 for now. 7? It's, it's passing not grade. bad, but it's not great. It's a passing grade. I bet. Next up, another classic just bussin'. Bussin'. Now that that that's not bet. That's not something you say every day. Bussin' has to be earned. If a food is bussin', you will let someone know it's bussin'. You take a bite of a burger, hey, yo, this John bussin'. So for you, this is only food. Yeah, wh- wh- what do you think? I don't know. Like, you think music uh, can be bussin'? I'd s- I feel like people have music branched it out. Music can be bumpin', but it can't bumpin'. be bussin'. Uh, some people, they just, they learn the new cool ways to talk and they overuse it. So I'd say some if people are like, this is... can you get bussin'? No. Your outfit's bussin'. No, no, it's nah. <laughs> it's it's, mo- it's most. I sound definitely like a. Food. I sound like a an old folk now. But I, I love. I love food. I'm get, uh, I don't know if I love saying bussin' more than I love saying delicious though, because delicious yeah. is just it, it's yeah, simple, it, but it's the you're standard. You're right. You always say this is delicious. Yeah. That's that's an accent so. that you have. <laughs> the high pitched delicious. Uh, I, I didn't even know. I guess yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll like, give I'll give bussin the eight point nine woo. because it is a high regard. You want something to be bussin. I can see this being the highest on the list. It almost is like it's made with love too. I feel like. Yeah, it's a it's a positive slang word. It's like it, it's bringing you that internal like warmth. Yeah, and that's joy. a good point. Bussin's a very rare occurrence where like a new word only brings positive outlooks, happiness. Yeah, like I don't th- I, I wouldn't call cereal bussin, but like. If I've had like a long day and I'm cold and I like bite into like a a nice hot burger, I would say this John Bussin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up here, we got cap. Cap. Uh. Some of the we're getting the basics out of the way here. Cap. How did how did they create that? That's a good cap. point. The origin of cap. 
I like cat. I don't know. I, I like cat more than a bit. It's, it's no, it's no bussin. I should have looked at what these came from. Like bet, ma- bussin does he, Bustin, I guess, came from bussin. I don't but, know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> these don't even make sense. Cat, no cat. <laughs> I don't say it that much though. But, I uh, I'll say it around like the boys. If I someone's film, be like, that's cap. Get that out of here. Yeah. But, um, nah, that's cap. That's cap. Yeah, <laughs> I was just saying that as an example. I'll give Cap a seven point two. So you're in favor of all these new terms overall. You're giving them. You a seven is yeah. high. A seven is high. Yeah, it is. Like you're you're in favor of saying instead of like, basically I would say this as you're in favor of Cap over saying you're lying or you're fibbing. Okay, I was kind of looking at this as in terms of like all these words are. In a pot next to each no, other. These are in terms of the English language. Okay. That's how I would. I mean, it's up to you, mm. but I'm, this is how I mm. interpret it. Mm. Okay. It's up to you. You're I'll, the I'll, ego meter guy. I'm I, just I, asking. I, I can't. I'm I, judging. I, I commit to the seven point two. Yeah. It's, but you're admitting that you that is a wrong grading based off of how it contributes to the English language. Yes. Yes. So you're not in favor of modern slang, other than the word bussin. It's okay. It uh it gets the term across. You use it. I'm I'm not looking forward to the days when I'm an a grumpy old man and I can't understand whatever slang we use. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Who knows what they're gonna be coming out with in the future. Yo, grandpa, this mac and cheese is drooping. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you said drooping, our next word is drip. Uh oh. <laughs> drip. Now I can't experience drip. I, I, I don't have drip like that. Uh, drip. Drip is an, uh, what someone drip. wears, how well-dressed they are. He, Ethan has a drippy fit on today. No. I look, I, I'm sharp right now, but I'm not dripping. I'm going to d- give dripping a, a f- 4.8. See, now you're finally getting the negative because I think I think passing. we've gone off the rails with what drip is, and and particularly I think of the NFL, like all these pregame fits they call it drip. They're not, th- yeah. they they are the most ugly outfits I've ever seen. Yeah, like yeah, fashion has gone somewhere. It's interesting. Like Jason Kelsey wears better outfits. Travis Kelsey has some good outfits, but I like Jason Kelsey's yeah, fashion. You got like the Cam Newtons. More. You got the Stefan Diggs. Yeah. You got the guys who are just, they're trying to like, draw attention. Like you can. You can do that in a good way. You can do it in a dumb way. Like did you see what Stefan Diggs wore the last playoff game? I probably did it, see. It was a sweater where a very, very tight torso and then his sleeves were incredibly wide. Yeah. That, oh my <laughs> like his sleeves were matte. That's not drip. That's to- <laughs> that's tomfoolery. <laughs> it's just. It's very interesting. Like a hundred years ago, guys were wearing suits, girls were wearing dresses. I'm, I'm, I'm all for I'm all for looking. All I'm looking. all for dressing nice. I'm all for looking sharp and handsome and dapper, but drip. I don't know. It's just yeah. not me. All right, we got two left here. I added six. The next one, it's kind of a two and one, low key and high key. Low key. I like that a lot. I I I I use low key a lot. I high key use low key a lot, uh, and I don't think it's too far fetched. It's not like drip. Where what does drip have to do with fashion, or what does uh, what does cap have to do with? Oh, that's a lie. It's like low key is like low key. If you really like think about it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Am I going? Somewhere? What does that have to do with a key in music? A low key. Low what does that have to do with it being? S- I guess high key is more high pitch. Which Maybe I've just loud. become so accustomed to low key. I'm convincing myself it makes sense. <laughs> uh, well, a key is in terms of music, right? Yeah. A key is like on a piano. You ha- a high key is a high pitch. I, I guess. I think I'm no musician. I, I like it a lot though, so I'm gonna give it an eight point five, just because I do use it. I think it's I like easy. It. It's easier to say than like. Hey man, we need it to talk. It could get annoying though. If someone's always like low key, it's like it's like it's a little a little too much of a like, you could have just said what you were gonna say without being like it's on a lower end. Yeah, I I hardly say high key. Like, and sometimes people say low key to cover up. They actually like are pissed, but they're like low key guys. Uh. That's true. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, and high key's not used as much because normally people aren't like, ah, high key. like I really, uh, I don't know. It's like it's a little more off the end, off key, the rails. High key, I'm feeling good right now. Like, <laughs> just say you're feeling good right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> then again, low key, I'm feeling good right. I don't know. Yeah, what is a use for high key? No one really. What is like a reasonable <laughs> use to say high, high key, key? High key, you're pissing me off. <laughs> Like, what? You, then you just say you're pissing me. Like yeah, yeah you just be angry about it. Although I, I I like the, I like the more traditional ways of saying that. Like you're really you're really getting on my nerves, pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I think about it, high key doesn't I, make a whole lot of sense. I, Low key, it can. You want to like up, buster. Like normally with texting and emojis, I'll always end with like an exclamation point if I want it to be more high key. Or a laugh emoji if it's like more like I'm just kind of like it's not. Well, I key. always pair low key with the eyes emoji, like the. <laughs> it's like low key that might be the one or uh <laughs> low key i might get a sandwich <laughs> so i don't know what i don't know what feeling that conveys but i use it a lot it could be it's per person it's their accent and how they use it yeah boom and last year this is more oh we're doing six yeah i said that okay uh I forgot <sighs> I don't know how much of this is modern slang. I feel like this is more of what our friend group would say. And that is the use of the word brick. Like it is, you have its brick outside. <sighs> we, we, If we didn't see someone for a while, we'd be like, yo, it's been a brick, man. You got, I, I'm not going to count the basketball brick because that's more. Like, I think of the basketball brick. But I'm thinking more of like, yo, it's been a brick, man. It's been a, it's been a while. Like that's, that's a. I've never heard it. <laughs> I think of brick. I think of basketball. <laughs> I guess I think of the cold, and I think of one that's not family friendly. <laughs> uh, but no, there's the one where I think of you haven't seen someone for a while. It's kind of just like a, like the, another word for John almost, but you don't say like yo that brick over hot, there. It's you got like brick minute. brain. Brick brain, okay. You have like ah, oh, it's been a brick. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but you say brick. <laughs> Has anyone else heard that? Brick. Yo, it's been a brick, man. <laughs> I've never heard someone say it's been a brick. Our friend group is like it. Really? Like the people that, uh, like. It's been a minute, but. Yeah, but it's like it's been a brick. Uh, <laughs> Garrett, I'm going to give that a two. <laughs> I love that. Word. You, I love when someone says brick. I, I, love, I love when you're playing basketball and like, oh, that's a brick. Or Yeah, but like I'll be hooping with the boys and that's like how we talk. We'll be like, oh, it's been a brick. Like we see, like some random. Well, I don't, I'm not a hooper, so that might explain. I don't. It. I don't think that's hooper term. I think that's it. It's just developed in the friend group. I'm gonna try to say that today and see how that goes. <laughs> I think it became like a joke in our friend group because we started using brick yeah. randomly, and then it's just now it's like, oh, it's been a brick. Brick ah. brain. I don't know. I. F- I- I feel like this is a thing, and I'm just I don't just don't, I don't know about it. I don't it. even know if it is. This is more of a, like I looked up modern slang, and this this isn't gonna show up. It's like, oh, it's been a brick, man. It's been a brick. I don't you know. Put me to sleep with that. <laughs> you you said you were tired before this. Yeah. But actually, this you'll wet. actually this will put me to sleep. Is this the seventh one? No, yeah. no, no. Oh, okay. no. We're moving on to our ne- last segment here. Ethan wanted to do this. I personally don't really watch the news. Um, I just don't. I don't. I don't have time to turn on the news. I don't follow any like, do I don't like nothing on social media about news pages. I just, I don't. If, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Watch if it's important much. enough, it'll bleed through somewhere. But anyways, we got news headlines that we all each picked a random news headline. We're not. It's not political, or I guess if you really dig deep, I don't We're, know. But we weren't trying to go for political. Oh, I, no. I saw this on another podcast, and I figured it'd be fun if we each found a, a news headline to bring to the table and just talk oh, yeah. about it. So I got my news from Rap because okay. the greatest Instagram page of all. No, nah, I don't know. But are you gonna go first? Or you want me to? <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Okay. This is, I guess, this is like political. I guess I don't know. Let's see. But I find North Korea very interesting. Okay. I uh, you you learn like they have like twelve movies, twelve movies. Oh yeah, like, they're yeah. only allowed to watch like, like twelve movies, they can only stuff watch, like, like that. Finding Nemo. Yeah, and yeah that if is you ask someone there, find they think Finding Nemo is from a, uh, um, like North the North Koreans made Finding Nemo. Like they believe that. That's what they're told. But anyways, the one I found, it's very. This is on. Why on keep rap. Okay. Yeah, but obviously, like, I don't know. But anyways, North Korea sentenced two teens to twelve years of hard labor. For watching K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And then the subtitle or whatever was, North Korea has imposed tough sentences on anyone caught enjoying South Korean entertainment. I think that's a proper punishment for listening <laughs> to K-pop. 
I don't get it. I no. think K-pop's um, kind wow. of. I I know a lot of people are into. So they're not going to prison. They just have to do two years. Tw- two teens to twelve years. Wow. So it's two people Fairless. who got. Do caught. you have any more details on this? Or? No, it's literally all I have. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, imagine the story they're gonna have to tell. Ah. Oh. Where where have you been these now, last twelve years? I'm interested because they have very strict. So I'm wondering how they even had access to K-pop because I feel like that would be a hard thing to obtain there if everything's really locked down. They might have smuggled it across the border. But no, you like, like you would get CD. like you get killed like crossing the border. That's why not to get political, but when Trump met met Kim Jong Un and he crossed the they border, don't have, like, that deliveries? was like a big deal at How, the time. They, everything is made in North Korea. They don't have like deliveries come from out of area. I well, they they might have a par- they, could have, they like, probably a, have partnerships. They could have like a truck full of produce and some guy hides like a K-pop CD behind the bananas or something. They they gotta have partners, but it's gotta be on their terms. Obviously, I don't know. But that was mine. I Honestly, just thought with North Korea, that punishment sounds kind of light. <laughs> like I was hard th- labor, though. That's you're seeing that as like that. That is true. You don't know what hard labor. This means. isn't like mowing the lawn. <laughs> this is like mowing every lawn naked. What? <laughs> I, I I'd rather mow the lawn with clothes than mow the lawn naked. <laughs> That's hard labor. That's a zesty thought right oh. there. Well, it ties into my headline, I guess. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> sure. Naked man arrested <laughs> after doing cannonball into bass pro oh, shop. Ah, I saw fish. that. You saw that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's the news I see. I yeah. didn't see this. Did you see, like, I think it was his wife trying to defend him, what she was claiming? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll read off what I know. 42-year-old, 42-year-old, 42-year-old man, George Owens. He uh he intentionally struck a pole in the parking lot with his family in the car. He then ran inside, took his clothes off, and did a cannonball leap into the fish tank. And bat, you know what a Bass Pro Shops is, yeah, right? Yeah. Like a Cabela's. Yeah. Yeah, he did it in the aquarium. He was in the water for about five minutes. Then he fell out of the fish tank onto like a concrete floor and was knocked unconscious. <laughs> and uh, see, I thought he did fifteen cannonballs. No, I think he did one. There's no way he did 15 cannonballs. I thought he was getting in and out. Well, I think he was getting in and out at points, but... <clears throat> All right, my mom's texting me, so we'll wrap this up soon. She's like, call me, whatever. Okay. But not not to move... So, but this is what I heard from... I, I, I don't know if it was his wife. I, there's, I didn't really look at it super close, but yeah. I think they said, like, we don't really know who this woman is. I don't know. Don't Don't quote me on any of that. But this woman, we'll say it's like his wife or a significant other because it wouldn't really make sense. But she was like, it might even be a lawyer. I don't know. But she was trying to defend him and saying this is a swimming pool because there was no top. If there is a top to it, it's an aquarium. If the top is open, then it's a swimming pool. So supposedly, according to her, he had the right to jump in. I don't. Did he have the right to jump in naked, though? You can't be naked in public. Yeah, that's the thing. There's really I don't know what I actually of. heard that you can be naked in public somewhere <laughs> unless you are like oh man in a car you can but that's your property A source has told me you can be naked <laughs> a source You can be naked in public as long as you are not expressing your nakedness <laughs> I'll put it that way I do not believe that whatsoever If you walk into Walmart well you can't even go to in some stores without shoes That leads me into my next socks. segment Garrett because remember that time segment. you Remember that time you dared me to run around the house? Yeah. And you get, have given me the dare to you? <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. I dare you. No, I'm not going to dare you to get naked. <laughs> Are you doing one, though? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is, you do owe me that. I, I have it in the palm of my hand whenever <laughs> I want to. Oh, I, I've thought of some things. I, I kind of thought you forgot about that. but No. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was like a, no, it wasn't a, it's was a dare slash... Challenge. challenge, yeah, you need yeah. to, because if I don't do it, and the challenge requires the one I like, thought of was you have to like drink three glasses of milk in fifteen seconds. <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make I it possible. It, I it was... Yours, I made yours way too easy. It was like a minute to run around the house, and you didn't like. How fast do you think you can drink three glasses of milk? Full how, twelve ounces. Yeah, like a a glass this big. Three of those water bottles. Yeah. That's 12 ounces. Two minutes. I could definitely do it under 30 seconds. (laughs) 
Do you have milk here? <laughs> I do, but I don't want to waste half yeah. a gallon of milk. But <laughs> only time yeah. will tell. But I believe, yeah, that's the end of our episode. Right at about thirty seconds or yeah. thirty minutes. We were so. talking about the news, and then it, <laughs> someone mentioned getting naked, and then you it did. Fell off. <laughs> yeah, you did. Make sure that's known. But anyways, thank you for listening. We'll be back in two weeks. Don't go outside naked. <laughs> yeah, don't or pull. do. No. Don't